Or I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. It, it looks something like this. I'm Josh, a pilot and flight instructor with a passion for the sky, sharing it with those around me and using it to see the world from a new perspective. Flying can seem super complex, but I've made it my mission to showcase safe practices while enjoying the beauty this world has to offer. Subscribe to climb into the cockpit on future adventures. This is Aviation 101. We're at the San Marcos Airport in Central Texas to do something a little different today. This guy is Leland Cratcher. He flies a Christian Eagle II and is based up near Dallas. Oh, and he's an air show performer. This is Brady. Brady is the marketing manager at Flying Eyes Optics. Brady is gonna fly upside down for his first time today. This is Brady's boss. He put him up to it. This is Alex. He's the social media coordinator at Flying Eyes Optics. And of course, this is Chels. The plan is she's going to fly in the left seat with Dean and his Grumman, and Alex is going to ride in the back seat of 80991 to help take photos and videos of Leland and Brady doing some cool stuff off our wing today. I'll be in the right seat tag teaming the shooting with Alex while we trust our lives to this guy, Marty. He's the multi-engine instructor that recently trained me for my commercial multi-engine add-on. He happened to be hanging around the airport today, so between his lessons with students, what else is there to do than go fly? We thoroughly brief the plan of action for the flight with all pilots involved. Leland is by far the most experienced formation pilot in the group, so he led the briefing and we made sure everyone was on the same page. Formation flying is no joke, and the type of flying Leland is about to do in formation with us should only be done by an experienced professional as himself. If you've never flown formation, please don't try it without some sort of training from an instructor who knows how to teach it. Unconscious incompetence is a killer. You don't know what you don't know. Get some training, be safe about it, and have some fun. It's really cool and rewarding when it's done right. After a thorough briefing, Leland and Brady majestically walked to the Eagle, buckled into their parachutes, and thoroughly briefed emergency egress procedures. I've been on some aerobatic flights where later I processed the fact that the pilot helped me strap into the parachute, but never briefed me on the aircraft egress or chute deployment procedures. It's useless if you don't show your passengers how to use it. Okay, headset's on. Are you an experienced flyer? I am not. If you want to throw up, rip this hat off and you can side of it. Don't put it back on Josh's head. If we have a, a, a engine problem and we have to put this thing down in the field, which we're both good at doing, we practice it all the time, uh, after it lands and bounces and stops, uh, I'm gonna go out this door. I'm gonna slide this seat back, go out this door. If you would follow me out this door and then you can go out that door. Yeah. Okay, okay and Josh will open the door for you because he's a nice guy. Fire yeah. extinguisher we got. Okay, if a hand goes up, stop talking. That's mm -hmm. about what else we want to talk about. I think that's pretty seat much belts, it. doors, questions. Not at the moment. If you feel, and if you feel nauseous or anything at any point, just communicate that and we'll help you out. But not yet. <laughs> yeah, not yet though. SM Marcus Ground, this is Flying Eyes Flight. We're a flight of three, a Cessna, a Grumman, and a Christian Eagle at Barry with information Victor would like to taxi out for a westbound VFR departure or a flight of three. Flying Eyes Flight, SM Marcus uh, Ground, Roger, runway 17, taxi via Alpha, cross runway 8, Juliet, Hosharp, runway 13. All right, taxi to 17 via Alpha, cross runway 8, Juliet, hold short of 13, Flying Eyes Flight. This was originally going to be a three-ship flight. Chels was going to fly in the left seat with Dean, so they could take photos and videos as the third plane, but they ended up having an engine issue that they caught during run-up, so their flight was unfortunately scrubbed, and it turned into a two-ship operation. Luckily, that doesn't change the plans between the two remaining aircraft. We're first to take off since we're the lead, and we're slower, so we set the pace. And Leland and Brady will roll after us and catch up pretty fast. Flying eyes off flight, runway 17, clear for takeoff. Right turn out's approved. Right turn out, 17 clear for takeoff, flying eyes flight. There's VY ish. Yep. Engine looks happy. Feels happy. Smells happy. Lots of little tiny birds. What the hell? Yeah, there are a bunch. Yeah. 
Okay, ready to turn out then? Yep, you look clear right. Okay, clear right. Yeah, I just don't know if we're going to have the performance to get above without some southbound turns. Flying ice flight, first you change is approved. Flying ice flight, Roger, we'll talk to you in a bit. Traffic. Look to your right. Oh, howdy, buddy. Hello, my friend. Hey. <laughs> nice. Golden, he's right off our wing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. This is going to work out. Yeah. Cool. Hey, Brady, to a fellow Bobcat, I just took a badass picture of you guys with Texas State in the background. Hell yeah. He said, let's go. Check that out, Alex. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Please ready. All right, here we go. Where's he coming from? From underneath, and there he is. I don't see yeah, him at all. He's under us now. <laughs> Inverted. <laughs> nice. All right, I think I'm going to climb to 65. That'll get us clear of all this crap. Okay. That sounds good. Then I'm right, trying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you guys pull back kind of like in the slow flight and just make like maybe a uh, clean slow flight. And then I'm going to come around and come by you guys really fast to get some relative motion. Copy. There we go. All right, we're coming diagonally to the right side. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> got a little bump, too. <laughs> that was awesome. Visual. All right, I'll make a left turn out and head back. Yeah, we start. We're going to start uh, making a slow left turn and kind of start heading back towards San Marcos. Oh, that lighting is epic with the clouds in the background. Leland, if you could drop down just a little bit, I want to get a little bit more of the ground in the background here. And if you could maybe scoot forward a little bit so that I'm looking a little bit more at y'all's canopy out from under the wing. Oh, perfect, yeah. Have you noticed the little, the little beat in your engine? What kind of beat? Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. I felt that kind of the whole flight, and I don't know if it just is a really noticed thing, that before. Or just I'd... you being used to your airplane. I don't know, I'd have to take my headset off to see. Alright, uh, those that shot actually looked really beautiful. Okay, hang on, this is a pretty one too, hold on. <laughs> cool, and if you are willing, uh, a right hand brake again will be would be really awesome. Three. Two, one. <laughs> you know what beat we were hearing? The harmonic between our prop and his prop. <laughs> You're right, because it just went away. <laughs> How weird is that? That's formation. Yeah, that's <laughs> formation for you. With a loud engine. Yeah. Man, that looked beautiful. Heck yeah. Yeah, I think we got what we wanted. If you guys, you guys want to break off and go do some uh, some lightweight acro, or what do you want to do? Yeah, I think we'll probably do that. Um, I'm just going to keep it light for him, and then we'll head back. We'll head back in single ship. Okay, sounds good. We'll go ahead and break, and we'll go in as a single ship. Roger. I haven't looked at my four flight. Are we heading back towards San Marcos on this heading? Yes, we are direct to San Marcos. We're probably about 13 miles out. All right, look to your right. Look to our right, huh? Oh, there we go. Da da da. Oh, shoot, yeah. Wow. That boy can fly a little bit. He can. Epic. Heck yeah. <laughs> all right, we see you all back at base. See you there. Bravo. What kind of landing am I doing? Report midfield down when uh, make it a short. Okay. Short it is. So I guess with flaps 40, my aim point ought to probably be where I want to land. 
It comes down. Right, yeah, give way to the biplane. It's thirty. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get now. Oh, hello, birds. November seven three Yankee. Where are you going? Are you going to Gafford? Perhaps our yeah, full. Yeah, Gafford hangers. Roger. You use about sixty on final. Yeah. Or short. At our weight, final's clear. We are cleared to land. There's our runway. Anywhere between sixty and sixty-five. I'm a real chicken when it comes to getting too slow. Roger that. 172 will give you plenty of warning, right? It will. But with flaps 40 and 160 horses, I don't have quite the giddy up if we get behind the power curve that I'm used to. Yeah. So I will take that into account. Sierra Sierra nice crosswind for 40 degrees of flaps. <laughs> Pretty good crosswind. I like it. And in Right the here I can tell I got plenty of rudder though. Yeah. In the flare, you're going to get the series of beeps. It's just the angle of attack. Gotcha, gotcha. One five zero at eight. Everything's looking good. Right in the middle of the numbers. Yeah, I was shooting for shorter, but I won't tell you. <laughs> Sustain zero nine nine one, one turn right on two runway two six and turn left. Bravo, Alpha, depart. Monitor ground off the runways. All right, I'll make a right on two six left on Bravo and taxi to parking via Bravo. Alpha monitor ground went off eight zero nine nine one. Yeah, thanks for the help. Yeah, appreciate it. I don't know what I helped with, but. I don't know. I don't know. You I'll take answered it him on the radio and did what he told you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that's enough. It was really awesome to fly alongside such a professional and skilled pilot. I have minimal formation time myself, and it's awesome to see the precision in his aircraft control right off our wing, and I think we got some sweet photo and video in the process. I really didn't think I had enough recorded material from this to stitch together a YouTube video. And even though it's shorter, I couldn't resist making something out of this epic 4K air-to-air -air footage. Shout out to Flying Eyes for bringing together three of their brand ambassadors for a fun collaboration to snag some promotional content, and for making just a downright great product. I'm proud to be a brand ambassador for them now going on five years. There's a link to their website down in the description, and if you're going to get yourself a pair, be sure to use code AVIATION101 for 10% off. Anyways, thanks to Alex for not puking in my hat, and props to Marty for nailing the numbers on that practice short field landing on the way back in. I'm curious to hear what you think about this shorter fire from the hip type video down in the comments. Hit like on this video if you did, and subscribe if you haven't. Ring that notification bell so you don't miss the next video, and until next time, you know the drill. I want you to stay happy, healthy, current, and most importantly, stay proficient. Fly safe.